Hey. Hey, everybody. What's up? Uh, Nicodemus Kane back once again to uh, have our weekly discussion. You know, we've been doing these. I think we've been doing these for a good several months now. You know, just sitting down, talking, trying to, uh, just trying to figure out life. You know, just trying to figure out this thing. And I've been... <clears throat> All right, so I went outside. I went outside a little while ago, I'd say a couple hours ago, and um, I had a long talk with God. You know, just going over the same old stuff about what's. A lot of it had to do with when I was living alone and I was, you know, I was by myself and I, I was rebelling against the world and then doing everything I could just to be like the worst kind of human being possible. I, uh, I would go out in the middle of thunderstorms and I would dare I would dare God to hit me because I was so done with life. I was over it. I was blaming I was blaming him for all of my downfalls and all of my problems. I was blaming him for everything that had happened in my life. I was just, I was just railing against it, and I kept saying, if you want a piece of me, just, just take it, just take a piece of me, and he just, uh, he wouldn't do it, and I understand why now, I mean, he, he's got his, he, he's got his own, he's got his own reasons for all the stuff that he's done, and I understand that. <sighs> But some of the talk that I had out there with him was just trying to figure this whole thing out. I So we I'm just gonna talk straightly. Uh, I'm just gonna talk straight to you. I'm not gonna because I sit here and I try to think how to put these into terms that someone that's not truly awake to everything can understand because it's it's very hard to grasp uh, i can see it someone someone that that hears somebody say oh you know 911 was an inside job or, you know, the moon landing wasn't real, or, or, you know, even going so far as saying the earth is flat. I can understand how that would, that would hit you. That would, that would make you, you know, it would just like, it would almost turn you off from it, you know? You wouldn't be able to understand that. You wouldn't be able to grasp that concept unless you were, pulled into it a little bit, you know, you were able to understand a little bit better than what it is. So I try, especially on these videos, I try to rationalize it and put it into words that the the person on the street can understand. And I don't know, I, I think I lose something whenever I try to do that. I, I think there's something that gets lost in the translation, and unless I just say, you know, straight up, you know, this is this, that's that. But I try, you know, I mean, it's, we are, my, uh, my wife's father said it to me best, we are fishers and men. Um, this isn't about, you know, going out and trying to catch all the fish you can. This is about baiting hooks. This is about planting seeds. Same thing, you know, you, you say baiting hooks and people think, you know, you're, you're baiting somebody into something and 
it, it has a negative connotation to it. And I don't really think it has a negative connotation to it. I think the better way to say it is planting seeds. Uh, you, you plant a seed in dirt and not on rock because the seed planted in dirt is going to sprout. The seed planted on rock is not going to have a good foundation. And if it does take a hold, if it does actually grow, it's, it's not on a good foundation. It's going to fall over eventually. So it's about planting those seeds. So that's what I've always tried to do is just plant those seeds. And the more I've tried to plant seeds, I think the further and further away I've kind of strayed from the message, from, from, from the intent of what I'm trying to say. Uh, the biggest intent of what I'm trying to say is, is more or less just trying to get people to wake up to the understanding that everything we know and see and feel and touch is a lie that we have been lied to completely 100% in our lives. It's, it's just this, this massive deception of the world that I've only, I've only just recently, only within the past five years have I just had this, these blinders taken off of my eyes. And the more I see it, the more I, the more I, I look into it, the more that I, I mean, it's gotten to the point, it's gotten to the point where I, anything, at this, if you tell me anything, I will probably think it's possible because it's that kind of crazy. Um... And I think the biggest problem, the biggest thing for me is trying to rationalize it. There's, there's this, this, it's very hard to rationalize. Um, it is a pure evil. It, it, it's just this flat out. It's a pure evil. It's a pure evil in the biblical sense of it. it this is literally satan versus us it, it is it is a a war of deception and this war of evil that that just has has stricken people down and i'm just trying to put it into perspective just uh, it hurts it physically hurts it, it it's it's so mentally draining when you try to process the evils of this war <laughs> and and it's like the book i think it's ezekiel i could swear it's ezekiel it's either ezekiel or jeremiah maybe an isaiah i don't even remember but one of them says no matter how bad you think it is on the surface no matter how bad you think people are acting people are are talking people are accepting these things into the world it's worse on the other side of the wall. It's worse down the street. It's worse in secret and in, in private places. It, it is far, far worse than you could ever, ever, ever possibly imagine. And people don't believe that. You, you, you try to go tell somebody that, and they just, they just don't. They can't accept it. They can't accept that that humans. I know. I, I struck my beard when I'm trying to think. They can't accept that human beings could ever do anything terrible, that's terrible, to another person. And they'll just do something that terrible, period. I, we've been programmed into this naturalistic view of the world where we are taught to think that everything that has happened has just been this natural process of the universe. That somehow we won the... <sighs> we won the universal lottery to, to, to be able to have a galaxy. And from there, we won the solar system lottery, where we just happened to perfectly have the the star that that just happens to be the perfect shape and size, and we won the planetary lottery that that you know our our planet just happens to be the perfect shape and size and the perfect the perfect uh, you know uh, uh, it's far enough away for it to to perfectly work so that we could win the we could win the life lottery 
that life could form, that, that we could even have water, the water lottery, that we could even have water, that, you know, it would eventually pop up to where we won the, we won the genetic lottery of evolution. We, we just happened to win the genetic lottery of evolution. And those ads are, those, those odds, ads, hear me? Those odds are staggering. Absolutely staggering. To, to think that this all just happened naturally. And we're taught this. We're taught that it's all just a natural thing. We, we live, we die, whatever. That's just, that's just life. That's just the way it all works. It's just all kind of, all kinds of fall, kind of falls together. And then, you know, it all falls apart and then we just die. And then, you know, other people come in and they just take over for us and they just keep going and the cycle just keep repeats. That's what it is. <sighs> and that in this natural state, there's no spirit. There's no soul. There's no there's no energy to any of it. It's it's we we're taught that that it's just this. It's this meat flesh or this meat sack, whatever you want to call it. It's it's just this and it's all of this plastic garbage that we surround ourselves with. All these toys and all these electronics and you know, it's it's whoever has the most toys at the end wins. You can't take it with you anyway, so you might as well enjoy it while it's here. And while you're enjoying it, you might as well go ahead and just live life to the fullest as best you can and just, you know, drink all day and fuck all night. And, and it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because you only got you only really got one life to live. So you might as well just throw it away. On everything you got, and that's that's that natural, that's that natural thought process that people have, and what it does is it creates this selfish, nihilistic view of life. That all you're thinking about is yourself. You're not, you're not thinking about anybody else. It's survival of the fittest. It doesn't matter if the guy down the street is dying. You know, he's going to die. Let him die. That, you know, once he dies, I'm still living. I beat him. I beat him. You know, I, I won the game of life better than he did. Hey, there you go. You know? <sighs> And it's gotten to the point that people will, people will literally just trash you in order to get ahead, in order to get the next step. They will just completely run right over top of you. And they don't care. And nobody cares. I, I, the perfect example I tell of, of, the people that just don't care is going out and just driving down the highway. You will get cut off and run over and run past and, and honked at. It, it even even if you're trying to follow with them, they are still just trying to. They're just trying to one up you. It's it's absolutely amazing how what these people do. But that's. That's life. And they are, they are taught this, you know, they are taught that we're supposed to be better than everybody else, and that's what we do. And, you know, nobody cares. You're not supposed to care. Are you really supposed to care? <laughs> you know? That's just, that's just the way it seems. Uh, and that's, that's what we're taught. And it creates, like I said, it creates this nihilistic, self-centered, selfish view of life. And it's just... Whew, man. And what that does is it creates evil. Um... And and people may not think that. You know, people may think, oh no, that's not, that's not right. We're all intrinsically good. You know, we're all gonna be okay. It, it, it's it's everybody's fine as long as everybody's just doing their own thing and not hurting anybody else. It's fine. 
That's not how it works. I can't understand how people think that's how it works. Have you never just gone out and looked at the world? Do you truly, truly think that the people that, that, that are on top of this world believe that mantra? That, that everybody's intrinsically good? Have you seen what billionaires do with their money? I'm not even talking about American billionaires. Let's, let's not even talk about American billionaires. Let's talk about billionaires in other countries. You do realize that there are other countries that are just as bad, if not worse, than ours. And these people have tons upon tons upon tons of money, and they are doing far worse things to their citizens than we do here. I don't think you realize that. I think just because just cause anybody that's watching this inside of America, I think... Our view of life is us. Um, that everything we see, it's just, it's, it's, it's all about us. It's, it's like, oh no, American billionaires, you know, they're just rich and everything. They're not really trying to hurt anybody. They're just trying to do the thing, you know. They probably give, you know, all their money away to this and do that and stuff. It's, you know, as long as we don't see them hurting anybody, it's no problem. Let's say that were true. Okay, fine, let's say that were true. But we have more than enough evidence of people in other countries that do far worse to the poor. Uh, it's There are slave castes. I, I, I never knew there, there are actually are, are entire groups of people that are con still considered slaves in India. I, I, it blows my mind that, that it's still a thing. You know that these these people are on the lowest rung possible, and nobody cares. You know they're they're just like the they're just like the 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 bottom of the pit. It's... I'm getting the weird feelings right now. Sorry. <sighs> I've had the I've had the weird feelings for most of the night. It's just like the hoo boo jeebies. Your Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to take these feelings away from me. I ask you to wash this house clean. Wash all evil spirits away from us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke all evil spirits out of this house now. <laughs> but we're drowning in that. That's what we're drowning in. It's we're we're drowning in this this evil, this corruption. <laughs> And that was what the whole point of this was, is, is trying to figure out, what do we do? What do we do, man? And I'm not trying to be depressive about it. And I'm not trying to, I'm, I think I'm just trying to be introspective about it. You know, I mean, we, we are supposed to meditate on this, and not like meditate, like yoga meditate. We are supposed to... Take the information in and pray about the information we receive and then think about it, you know, process it. Because it's, it's, it's some of it's very, very hard to process. I have a hard time processing this stuff. That's why I started this whole video series, was because I'm trying to process this. I'm trying to get it out of my head so that I can live a normal life where I don't have to constantly think about the evils that are around every single corner. I don't have... It's constant. Every day I hear something new, something different, something that's coming down the pipe. And I do my best to, to try to, you know, move that on to other people. I, to try to tell them, you know... This is what's happening. This is, I mean, what what do I have to say? I, I was trying to think of, of, of what I was going to say before I came down here and did this, because I definitely wanted to at least talk, because I had, I've been having 
just this issue today of just trying to figure out what's going on. And um, one of the things I was thinking about is, okay, what do I have to say here? What do I have to say that we can talk about that that we can we can move forward with with the the craziness that's going on? Do we have to talk about? We <sighs> can talk about vaccines, politics. You want to talk about politics? The the left left wing, right wing. It doesn't matter. It's still part of the same bird, and that bird is not an eagle. It is a vulture. I mean, do we have to talk about the Federal Reserve? Do we have to talk about fake money? Fake money, fake news, fake politics. It's all fake. Uh, what, what do we have to talk about? What else do you want to talk about? You want to talk about 9-11? <laughs> talk about Sandy Hook? I mean, really, what do you want to talk about? It's all there. We're sitting up there. We're set up there. We've been watching Catch Twenty Two, um, not the movie. That there's a new. They just redid it in a was it six episodes? You know, six hour long movie. You know how they are now. And um, it's on Hulu. And you know, I as we were watching it, I kept, I kept, I was like, I was like, um, you know. Yeah, I remember hearing stories about about this stuff happening during the war. Uh, you know, whenever something would happen, and I, oh yeah, I remember hearing stories about that. And I, I tell Angie, and and she'd be like, oh really? I'm like yeah. And then it's like it got to the point to where I was like, okay, this is getting a little bit too coincidental. What's going on here? So I, I actually looked it up, found out that it was a, it's a rehash or whatever you want to call it, and um, a redo. Whatever, I don't even know what they call them anymore. And I found out it was based off a book, and then they turned it into a movie back in 1970, I think. I don't remember. And I said, I've either read this book, which is entirely possible. I I, I could swear I've seen that book somewhere. I don't think I have it in the house. I don't... I don't even know where all my books are over there. It wouldn't be in that, it'd be over there. But I don't think I own it. I can swear I did, though. Maybe my stepfather might have. Either I read the book, or I... I watched the movie. And more than likely, I watched the movie. Because the movie was very, very similar to the, to the show. Absolutely. And, um... I was like... I was like, man... This makes me question a lot. Because I was sitting there saying, I remember hearing stories about World War II that involved this, 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 and this. And it's like, wait a minute. Was I hearing stories like that on like a documentary? Or, you know, was it something I read? Was I hearing stories about what happened in World War II in a documentary? Or was I hearing these stories that are based on fiction in a movie? And that's just another one of those things that just kind of cracks your brain in half, where it's just like, what's real? <laughs> Do you know what's real anymore? Um, but inside of this show, inside of the movie, inside of the book, if you don't know about it, I'm going to try not to spoil it for you, but it just, it... It starts off fairly decent, and it basically ends in like the worst kind of human calamities possible. I mean, it's just it's terrible. The 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 fifth episode just kind of brought it home for me. It's just like the worst of the worst in people, you know. And and that just <sighs> Angie stopped watching it with me. She did. She said she couldn't. She didn't want to watch it anymore. It just it was too much for her. She didn't even see half of the worst stuff. She just like she said, "No, I'm, I'm. You don't have to pause it for me. I'm done." And she walked away. And I'm like, <sighs> so I had to stop. I went outside and I just asked God. I said, "What? What does it mean? You know, what is it? What, what does it mean? Why are people just so?" It's not even to people. Why is 
Why is the evil so evil? <laughs> it's just so... It's so messed up, man. It's not even just people. It's the things that we do. It's it's the things that we we let happen to other people. It, it's just the... It's sick. It's sick. If you want to take a naturalistic point of view to the world and you want to say that everything that humans do to other humans, to animals, to to everything in the world, if you want to take a naturalistic point of view to all this, then you are you have to understand that that we are just a sick species. We there there is no inherent good in any of us there's not you can say that all you want but it is not true it, it we we show it every day if there was inherent good in everybody in the world it wouldn't be like this naturalistically it wouldn't be like this <laughs> it would be better it would absolutely be better, but it's not. It's terrible, and people keep thinking that it's going to get better, and it's not going to get better as long as you you understand that it's not. It's, it's not like that, man. From a spiritual perspective, from a biblical perspective, you see it. You, you see the grand you, you see the grand picture. You understand it. You understand the evils of the world, why people do the things they do. Because it's evil, man. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's, it's just this, this evil of the world. And it just permeates everything. Just trying to figure that out. I know I'm not saying much. I can't I can't think of anything to say here. It's just it it's it's mind boggling, you know. It's it would have been one thing if I were born into this world and if somebody told me what the world was all about. Uh, you know, if they would have, if somebody would have said, look, there's this massive deception that's going on, that it's just this pure evil of the world, and you just have to do your damnedest to try not to step in it. You know, you just have to try your damnedest not to be a part of it. Just, just kind of, you know, shuffle through as best you can. At the end of it, God will sort it out. Just, try, just be cool. Just be cool. You know, if, if we were all told that, that look, it's just, it's this evil, wicked, malicious world. You know, we would be better. Everybody would be better. There would be some that would just embrace it because people are going to embrace shit like that. I, w w I was hearing the other day that they were saying that for. For all those people. For, for all those people that. that try to do good that try to that try to help other people out you know that, that try to that try to just exist to be better you know for all those people that try to help people out that think that doing right and doing good is is the the, the way to go the way to be you know there are inherently going to be those on the exact opposite side of that coin they're going to be whether you like it or not that are that are the worst the worst of the worst that are just going to burn it down that there are those people that it's, it's like Alfred said man there are just those just some people just want to see it burn and 
And I, I just think that if we would have known that going into it, if somebody would have, if somebody just would have stopped you whenever you were a kid, you know, when you were four or five years old, if, if somebody would just said, look, it's just, it's this great evil thing. You know, it's, it's not a perfect world. It's, it's kind of a crap world. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to see everything with, with open eyes and understand that it's going to be better. We would intrinsically try to change it, to make it better. I'm, I'm sure we just had to have been taught that, but we're not taught that we're just taught that this is all okay. It's just fine and dandy. We can just go and do whatever, you know, pretty much everything I kind of talked about at the very beginning of this, you can just do, do whatever. It's all right. You know? If I were taught that from a very early age, I would have understood. I would have said, okay, I see it. I get it. I understand it. You know. But 40 years in, and then I see it. Waking up at 40 years old is rough because you're kind of set. You're, you're, you're pretty well set. You know, I, I was pretty well set. I, I would even say by, you no, know, I mean, it, there was a pretty great upheaval between, between 25 and 35. There was a pretty, pretty large upheaval of my life. Like that, that's just, that's just a fact. I, there was just that there were just steps upon steps upon steps of just crap that happened. Um, so I wasn't able to really set myself down in stone. It wasn't until, you know, about 36, 37, 38, where I started figuring out, okay, this is where we're going. This is how it works. You know, it's going to be okay. We'll just, we'll just take it from here and we'll move on out. You know, it'll be all right, whatever. So by the time you're 40, you, you just... You, you got it set, you know, you just think you, you're, you're good. You kind of know everything. It's, it's going, it's going the way it's going to go, whatever, you know. <sighs> and then you get truth smacked right upside your head, just absolutely right upside your head. And it's not, it's not what it was. It, it really is not what it, what, what, I don't know how else to say from the day you're born until the day you die, everything you know is a lie. <laughs> I, I didn't mean I'm, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. From the day you're born until the day you die, everything you know is a lie. Roses are red. I like pie. From the day you're born until the day you die, everything you know is a lie. <laughs> Is this an Illuminati thing? That this this you know doing the whole is this? I, I don't know if it is or not. I don't. <sighs> there's just there's there's times where I'm like I better make sure I watch out my hand signals. <sighs> I was watching a woman the other day where where she was talking about you know doing the whole new uh, fascist hand signal the old six six six. I'm not gonna do it. But she did it and put it in her thumbnail, and I'm like, don't you understand, man? Don't you understand? I, I, I watch truthers. I watch truth videos. I listen to these guys, and they get, they'll get one thing going here, but then they'll miss this. Uh, and other people will talk about this, but then they'll miss this. And you just, you're just kind of like, man, you guys can't put it together. You can't understand that every single thing is interwoven. It's like this... You've got the guys out there that just think all this is natural. I mean, it, it, they, they, see the, they see the evil, and they see the, the way that, that we handle the evil, and they see the way that things just kind of work in, in, pro, you know, in progression. But then they think that all of it is 
just happenstance. Um, like, um, what was the one? I, I, I had to stop listening to Owen Benjamin, and Owen Benjamin for a while. I, I, because he's, uh, he thought that, that the, uh, what was the one that, that really just kind of turned me off? Was he was saying that, oh man, what was it? I can't even think of it. Something about I can't even think of it now, man. Because it's been it's been a while. Well, it's been a while since I've stopped. Because he was he was talking about that naturalistic view. He he was saying it's not all a grand scheme. You know, it's it's not. You know, we just happened to find out this, so they exploited this until this happened, and when this happened, they just exploited that until that happened. And it's like, no, no, I'm, for me, no, no, it's, that's not, you can believe what you want to believe, but no, it, it's all progressive. It's all progressive. It follows one step after another, after another, after another, after another, because they have planned it. They had this, they have all of this written out somewhere and they just follow it letter by letter by letter. If something happens, then yes, they take advantage of it. You don't ever let a let a crisis go to waste, or whatever the hell the guy said. You know, that's what you do. You just you follow it, bam, bam, bam. These people have been cooking this up for years. It's not even these people. The evil that runs this world has been cooking this stuff up for years because the evil that's been, that's been running this world for so long, they still think they're going to win. They do. It's just, it's just the way it is, man. They, they still think you're going to win. People keep asking, why doesn't the devil just go ahead and just repent for his sins? Like, uh, well, for starters, because God doesn't want it that way. And secondly, he still thinks he's going to win. It, it, no matter... Uh, the, the, biggest, the biggest way that I see that is the more people he can keep away from being able to go into God's kingdom whenever he goes down finally, he will think that is a win. That's how it works. Period, underscore, italics, parentheses, whatever you want to put it, exclamation mark, that's how it is, is that the more people that he can keep from turning to God at that last second before he dies, he considers that a win. And what more do you want? What more do you want me to say? I, but that's just the truth. That's why the devil will never repent. <laughs> this is the way it works. Seriously, I just wanted it. I just wanted to be happy. I, I, I just wanted to be happy. I just kind of live it out, you know. But I can't do that now. That's not a possibility for me now. Once, once you, once you see the evils of the world, once you understand that yes, it is all a grand manipulation. That <laughs> the numbers don't lie. The number is like every act of the world. Go many fish. I, I don't watch him a lot because sometimes he goes off on these weirdy weird tangents. But I'm pretty sure he was one of the ones that really, really made me understand why things work the way they work. Because of the numbers. The numbers add up. We can't the the reason that I even remotely believed or started believing that all of these false flags that everybody likes to talk about. <laughs> the, the, the reason that I even started really understanding that it's a thing is because the numbers work. The dates work. The numbers work. The numbers of the names that are the people that are involved work. The birth dates of the people that are involved are numbers that, that match, up, match up to this and that and yada, yada, yada. And it's like... Uh, 
That's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's it's not just me sitting here saying, Oh, Satan's real, evil's real, you should go repent and you know, go to... No. You know it's real because there's too many coincidences. And that was a long time ago, back... Just after college, I finally decided there are no coincidences because things just happen for reasons. Because I can't... There, there are things out of my control that happen to push me into places where I'm supposed to be, you know, just, they used to call me the magic man at, at I used to be in touch with it. I, I, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, there used to be, I used to be in touch with it. And I don't know, something, something broke down in that. <laughs> I don't know why it stopped working that way. But yeah, I, I used to be able to control it for a long time. I, I I was letting fate run it. I mean, maybe maybe there was a demon with me. I don't know. Maybe there was something that was there helping push me towards a way that... Because it, it pushed me towards evil. That's pretty much all that happened. It just... But... I, I used to be able to be in a place where a thing would pop. You know? where a thing would happen and I would happen to be in the right place in the right time. And I always had a witness there with me it, and it was just, it would be a beautiful thing. I, I used to, I used to win a lot of stuff, you know, random ticket drawings, random, random things here and there. I, I've done a, uh, a phone contest, you know, calling in for concert tickets. I won those. We got there, and we actually got to upgrade to better seats because uh, there was somebody that decided to hand us better tickets. It was it was crazy. Um, I used to be able to do that. So based upon that, I said there are no coincidences. Uh, it's it's fate. It's it's guided for us. Uh, you can. What was how's the way I worded it? You can. You can push fates. You can kind of, you know, give it a nudge to push you onto a track that you want to go on. But in the end, you're supposed to be wherever that place is. So whatever's going to happen around you is going to lead you to that place. So I came up with the conclusion that there are no coincidences, that this is going to happen for a reason. It's going to happen like this, whether we like it or not, and we're going to be pushed to that point, and that's where we are. Like this right here, I'm supposed to be here talking to you guys, because everything about this day to day, everything about this whole week, has has led up to me having a headache. I have a headache at this point. <laughs> trying to figure out what it all means because I just can't I can't put it together I can't process it anymore it's just it's it's gone overboard way overboard so that's when I'm here I'm trying to figure it out and like I said I had a I don't know how long I was out there talking I was just I just like man don't give up on me don't give up on me. Let tell me, show me, show me what it means. Show me where to go. And if I don't deserve it, that was the thing I said too. If I don't deserve it, if I don't deserve the truth, if I don't deserve the understanding, if I don't deserve it, then fine. I don't deserve it. That's okay. I just I want something that's real. I just want something that's real because everything else around us is just fake. And it's just phony, and it just feels terrible to be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of this world. It's just sickening. It's nuts. It's nuts. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just nuts. I don't know if I accomplished anything here. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like I'm just talking to nobody. Uh, I, I I just feel like, you know, whatever's whatever. <sighs> it's 
trying to figure out what does it mean, man? You know, I mean, we'll find out eventually what it means, but it's like what I guess the biggest thing is, is just not giving up. I mean, I, that's one thing I said is just don't give up on me. Just don't give up on me. Don't don't give up on on what I think. You know. Uh, don't let don't let the crap of my life take me down. Just because it took me 40 years to realize I was in the wrong place, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I, I feel drained. I do. I, I feel like I've I've said as much as I've needed to say, and now it's just like there's nothing left inside of me. Oh, I'm yawning now too. It is. It is 12 midnights. It is officially June the 2nd of 2019. 12 midnight. I, sh I should have probably been in bed an hour ago. But I came down here to... say what I had to say. And, you know, hopefully it's going to benefit somebody. Hopefully it benefits you, you know? Hopefully it, it, hopefully it'll crack your mind open. I don't know. I can tell you this, that there's, there's a lie there. There's a lie there. You pick one. <laughs> pick one. Pick, pick any lie you want. Pick, pick any one thing that any, anybody has ever told you contradicts what you hear. Anything, just pick anything and look way down into it. You'll find something. It, it, everything, man. Start big, start small. It doesn't matter. It's, you can, <laughs> you, you can find it. There is a true evil in the world. Sadly, that evil is winning right now. And that evil is going to win until, until Jesus comes back. God is real. God absolutely is real. Satan, the true evil. It's real, man. It's real. It's real, and there are too many people in this world that, that worship him. And it's getting worse and worse. And... That's where you have to start. That's where you have to start. You have to start there and then work your way work your way out. That's what you you have to start at that little tiny spot where you realize that there is a good and evil. And then from there you have to build out. And once you build out to that point and realize that everything around you is just a big friggin' lie and that you just that we don't belong in this world, we don't belong in these bodies, that, that we there's something better than this on the outside of it, that's when you can start to heal. <laughs> for, for I am the way, the truth, and the light. Uh, if, you, if you follow me, I will give you the truth. And the truth will set you free. It will crack you out of this. I, that... That was written 2,000 years ago. If you believe what they tell you, if you believe their dates, that was written 2,000 years ago. I don't, I don't even know about the dates. We've already gone over this. I don't know about the dates. But if you believe the dates, that was written 2,000 years ago, and it is more true now than it was then. That it will set you free. That they're just the lies and the deceptions. It's amazing, that book. It, that book is absolutely amazing. I'm on the third time through listening to it and and it's always something you know you always pull something out and you're just like oh dude that's for us 
You know, he's talking to us. He wasn't talking to anybody back 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. He's talking to us. Because now's the time. You know? Ugh, crazy. It's it's just, I mean, it. if you believe it, it's not really that crazy because you know it's true and you know it's coming. But from an outsider, because I used to be an outsider, from from an outsider standpoint, looking in, it's like you ca you can't write this. One person did, apparently. Well, one entity did. One one all supreme being did. He did. There you go. That sounds better. He did. There you go. Sorry about that. He knew. He he knew. For, he knew from the beginning. It's not says it it's mind boggling but you you get you get through it you know you have to you know it's one of those things it's one of those things i don't have anything else to say i mean i have a lot to say i i just don't know how to say it. i don't know how to I don't know how to process it. I need to go to sleep. That's what I need to do. Father, show them the light. And show them the way. Father, forgive me. Father, understand that this is... This this was not what we we were meant for. Show us the better way. Show us the truth. No matter how painful, show us the truth. Well, I'm gonna get off of here. Uh, God bless you guys. You uh. You be good to each other. And I, I I don't I don't want to say that Jesus is an option anymore. He's the only option at this point. If you want to get out of it, Jesus is, is the only option. You can believe in the truth all you want to but to be able to get the to get the total truth to get the to get the saving grace and understanding of this he's the only way and people will believe that or people won't it is what it is i i love every one of you i do anyone that made it this far i i love you and i can only wish the best for you i i wish that I wish that we could all wake up to this and make it through <laughs> and make it through. I just, I need, I need somebody else, somebody besides my wife, somebody besides my woman. I need somebody else besides her to come up to me and just say, I understand and just give me a hug so that I don't feel alone anymore. It just feels so lonely. It really does. I I can't. There's no one anywhere near me, and I don't go out. I don't I don't go out anymore because I just don't know. You know, people just. <sighs> I can't wake anybody up. I try and I try, but my my friends they're not buying it. My family I don't think is buying it. I don't know what else to say to get people to understand. I just want to be I just want to be proven one other person that's not uh not a face on the internet you know somebody in real life if I can find one person in real life that that can that even remotely understands I, I it'll blow my head up. I could probably die right there and be happy because I just it's just one person it's all I need just one person just just to prove it you know prove it to me I don't even know. It's crazy. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, God bless. 
I will. I pray for us all. I do. I pray for us all. Hopefully, we can get out of it. So, good luck to everyone. See you guys on next time.